Hi guys, welcome back. This is an update for the Oxygen OS users and we have got the 4.1.0 update for both the OnePlus 3D and the OnePlus 3 So the, these kinds of updates have already been rolled out earlier by Open Beta update a couple of weeks back. So now it is officially available for all the 3 and 3D. So I have installed this update from the morning and I'm using it uh, from a couple of hours just to find out something in case it's broken or not. If something is broken, how you can fix it. So kind of experiences. And also we will take a look on some benchmarking scores, some camera tests, official change log. So let's get started. So this is OnePlus 3T, this is OnePlus 3. So first off, as I take a look here, go to the about phone. You're going to get this thing here, 4.1.0 on both the phones. 7.1.1 base and security patch level is of the March 1. So it's still just not latest. Now Google Pixel XL is still based on the March 5. So a couple of days back still it is very great sign like oneplus always provides the latest updates on the latest security patch table so this is about that thing now we'll talk about the installation how you have to install that so uh, in case the best way to install is in case the device is not rooted uh, to connect to the vpn and using the opera vpn so a couple of things you do have to notice here so once you connect to the vpn switch back to your location to the germany once you switch back to the germany go to the settings here and check for update once you got any update to show you here then immediately disconnect the vpn then try to download the update otherwise in case you keep on connected and download and later you go to, go to restart so it may fail so it happens for me so by default it did connected for the germany so go and check for update here so this will not show here because already my device is updated so this is about how you can install that if you're not rooted in case your device is rooted so better to install twerp download the complete rom i'll put a direct link from where you can download the official complete zip file it should be near 1.4 gigabytes and in case you are installing the OTA via OTA using uh, this uh, VPN connection so it should be near 351 MB that is came out about 351 359 this respectively is got here this is how you can install it so once it's installed now let's talk about some of the experiences that I felt personally so immediately when I start uh, restarted my device so uh, I'm not sure what the reason my OnePlus CT I started getting freaking out like my keyboard is not working for example if i just open something and if i start typing something so i was getting a lot of problem my keyboard was keep on minimizing so maybe that can be gboard issues google keyboard so i changed to swift keyboard then it's working fine I also play stores keep on closing and uh, reopening so what i did i just go to the application here you have to clear the both uh, uh, play services play store go to the storage for both one and clear all it and then uh, close the application, reboot the device, that will fix that problem in case you're getting such problem like your Play Store is not working at all. So now take a look on the official change logs. I'm going to use my official community app. So this is the community applications. You should see a post here, 7.111. For OnePlus 3 and 3T actually both are same. You're going to get the same update. So I'm just showing you on the 3T. The change log will be same, upgraded uh, to Android Nuga 7.1.1 and it got the latest my security patch level, added expanded screenshot, improved picture taking uh, moving object with blur reduction so i was playing with that and i will let you guys know i show you some of the sample images then you can decide whether that is working or not and improved video stability with the video recording so that i will check out and let you guys know later wi-fi connectivity there was a wi-fi known issue on the previous build now improved bluetooth connectivity general bug fixes so this is about that thing and uh, the oneplus ct also has the same change log so nothing new here all right now let me show you uh, some what, only the main important new things that has came here and this is the expanded screenshot now i will just take a screenshot of this page so for to do that you need to go to the setting and you have to go to the gestures so this is the gestures now you need to make sure to enable this three finger screenshot uh, yeah, it is very easy and you can do that by manually so now you have to just swipe it down here and you can see there is a button here if i just click here so uh, I'll show you again, right? So how you have to do that? First, uh, let's get down here and take your three fingers. Now you can see this uh, button here. Now tap the screen to stop scrolling. So it will keep on going scrolling above. So once you want to get it to stop, you just have to uh, tap it somewhere. Or uh, when the page is over, you have to automatically keep it stop. Just press once. So you can see. This is a long expanded screenshot. You can click here. This is ideally very good in case you are in a hobby of reading something on a Wikipedia or on a web page. So you can just do it that way and double tap to save it. So it can be easily be shareable. Start a saving as a PDF. And now you can see there's a margin here. You can see 
exactly there is not much in but you have to figure out by yourselves anyways that's very nice and other things are okay uh, need not to check that these are general fixes for example uh, video stability we will see that later as told you now let me show you some of the camera samples here so right here you can see i do have some of the camera samples here i try to take uh, the motion order he's my cousin and i was just taking photos of that one so uh, you can see some of the images are still blurred even though he was not running so fast he was just running on the normal you know, like kids of one and a half year they just ran it normally so a few photos are still blurred so I'm not saying uh, this is just fault of the OnePlus 3. Most of even my Google Pixel XL is not able to capture all the motion shots. So sometimes it's happened, but anyways, uh, we cannot say as of now how much is the level of the perfection. Maybe uh, a little bit is improved. So that we have to tell it later. Uh, this is about the camera stuff. So Wi-Fi is working fine and I just tried it. It's working great. Bluetooth, this pairing is done. General bug fixes should be some internal improvement. So this is about now the change log. Now let me show you guys the benchmarking stuff of the both the phones. So the score, uh, not too great. Uh, I will just tell you first thing. So uh, OnePlus 3, I just ran it one. I got 145. OnePlus 3T, I ran it twice. This is the second score. The first time when I ran it, I got 134, somewhere near to. And I was not able to take a screen. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot share you. But uh, here it is 148239. So not too great. But uh, one thing I did notice that the open beta, when I was having the open beta, it was working so great i did not got any issues when i installed it after that nothing at all no problem things are going on now let's show you uh, the geek benchmark score this is the geek benchmark here one seven so you can see that uh there's not much difference here three nine one seven versus four zero nine four so still it, it is a uh, comparable score not too bad and these things are there. also uh, i just have some samples this is the open beta a 12 uh, open beta 3 for one plus 3t based on android nuga 7.1.1 so it was working very fast so now let me show you some of the old archive comparing the open beta for one plus 3 and the 3t uh, with the current official builds now this is the open beta score and the official 4.1.0 that we have installed currently for the one plus 3 devices so uh, take a look on the scores the one plus 3 has a 149 score on open beta 12 which is also based on the android nuga 7.1.1 which i mentioned that it came a couple of weeks back now also the current one we got the score of 145 so this is about the n2 moving to the geek benchmark we have the 1716 for the single core again higher compared to the what we have official 1683 comparing the multi-core we have 1473 on the open beta 12 based on the 7.1.1 which is again higher than the official 4.1.0 so this is about the one plus three now let's take a look at the one plus 3t so this is again the the latest open beta 3 we have on the 3t which got the score of the 157 and even i was able to achieve the score of 164 when i tried after a couple of weeks back so comparing with the official the score we got the 148 which is much much uh, lower compared to the what we have with the beta 3 so this is about the entity here is the geek benchmark again it is higher uh, compared to the official versus the open beta 3 so take it result here so both of them are actually pretty nice so that's why i said uh, when i was using open beta builds uh, it was working much faster and smoother compared to what we have for the official builds right now now let's talk about the camera so there was a couple of changes here company was trying to do something in terms of uh, camera and video both so uh, when i installed the build on the both the phones and uh, when i re rebooted one plus three there was no problem camera was working great on the first shot as like usual i stole the build i opened the camera it was working fine when i tried the same to open the one plus 3d i got some issues like initially camera take a bit of time to launch but I was seeing some unknown errors. As you can see here, I am getting some kind of unknown error. So the same I try to use with some other camera application, the Camera FE5, which is a PDA app. I just have it uh, casually to use it by taking wide screenshot. So uh, when I try to take picture with them, it was showing some error like device restart spending. So, uh, but the catch is here, uh, there is no problem like, uh, it's okay, fine, I know restart should fix it, but the official camera app is just showing unknown error. It's not showing the exact error that the third party application is able to find it like there may be some uh, restart pending so hopefully the third party application is able to read the error exactly in a better way that official camera is not able to read it so maybe if one plus is watching that video so you guys have to make sure to read the proper error code that third party developers are able to read it so after that when i restarted my device everything was working fine so now you can see uh, i can easily able to take uh, pictures of my nearly 3310 very greatly 
so it's working fine uh, not a problem uh, if i try to do the same on the oneplus 3 it's working great so no issues uh, you can see both devices are working great so uh, but i i can see that oneplus 3t is working a bit faster in terms of camera so anyway guys this is about a camera update so there it is guys complete change log details my experiences issues that i found out so in case you guys found something do let me in the comment so just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and stay tuned don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like that this is sort of i'll catch you very soon have a great day